Hi, I'm Jo Stevenson. I'm one of these WalkQuest hosts and I am a fly tire and I'm here to do a little series of videos showcasing some of the important flies that we feel you should have in your armoury when going after a specific species. So we're covering bonefish and for this video we're going to be doing the gotcha. So this is another simple but important bonefish fly. Um, it's only got a couple of materials um, but it's really important to have it in your box I would say. Um, I've caught plenty of, of uh, bonefish on the gotcha and I wouldn't be without it. So let's start with talking about the fly itself. It's got a little bit of flash, um, a wing and some dumbbells. That's pretty much it. So if you haven't um, tied flies before it's another good one to start with. Um, or if you're after your first bonefish, like I said, this is a really important one to, to do. So um, with any fly, really important to have a really decent saltwater hook. And um, I tend to use a Sprite saltwater or a couple of the different partridge hooks which we've got here, which is the Wide Gape um, CS120. This one has an off-kilter um, hook point which I really like and as the name suggests a slightly wider gape and the C prints. Um, now I'm going to use a sprite to tie for this one because it's got a straight hook and um, that's just going to make it easier to see on the camera. So I'm going to use a size 6 so let me just take this out and pop this in We don't need many materials at all for this fly. Um, you need some tubing. I've got some Verivus tubing in pearl. We need some flat braid. So I've got um, some Vivus flat braid and I'm going to use a peachy colour. But there is obviously, I've got some pearl here, this makes quite a nice white fly. Uh, you may want to add a little bit more flash into your fly and um, some crystal flash is a good material for that. I've got some UV tan here. And then your wing material. Um, again, this can be anything um, that suits you or your tying style or the types of materials you like to use. Synthetically, we've got some craft fur um, or some... I think this is called Magic Carpet or H2O Slinky or something like that. This is really, really soft and a bit like Marabou in the water. This one's a little bit, um, the crawfur is a little bit stiffer, um, but again, it has a good motion. If you want to use something natural, you've got Calf Tail. This is a really good one to go for. This one's a little bit stiffer as well, so it holds its shape quite nicely. Or you can use some something like this, like a Rabbit's Onker. Um, I like working with rabbits on car. I think it's a nice material to go for. So I'll probably use that for this fly. Um, you need a decent thread, um, like a gel spun thread I tend to use, and I'm going to use this one in pink because this, if you use a colour, it kind of shines through um, a little bit and gives the colour uh, the fly a little bit of colour. So let's whip on. And cut off. I also need um, a bead chain eye, which I forgot to mention. Um, but this is going to give it the weight to get down to the, the floor. The, um, this is going to give it the weight to get down to the sea bed. So tie back to about a quarter of a way from the eye. Okay, and then tie a little bobble. Then do a a one turn at diagonally and tie another bobble. And that's going to be the little base for where your dumbbells sit. So pop that in and tie it down in between the bobbles and then we're going to do some cross wraps or some figure of eight tying. So over the top, under and over the top, back. Okay. So some cross wraps, I would say about 10 or 20 Make sure it's nice and lined up. Okay, 
And then to make sure that that all stays together, we're then just going to do a couple of wraps around it. So you go around the eyes, under, over the shank, under the eye, over the shank. And pull it nice and tight. And what that's doing is it's compressing all the, uh, the, the cross wraps that you've just put over it, compressing them all, holding those eyes in place. So that makes it nice and strong. If you want to put some, um, some super glue on at this point, you can. So taking your thread down to the bend of the hook, just to lay down a base for your body, and then take your thread back to the eyes. So first of all, we're gonna cut a piece of this body tubing. We're gonna tie that in um, at the eyes, so butt that right up against the eyes of the hook and then just catch it in. It can be a little bit fiddly, but we're gonna cover over this, so it doesn't matter if it's neat. So catch that in and then make sure you've kind of you've kind of draped it over the hook, okay? So it's nice on both sides and then just tie over it and go back up again. Um, okay, at this point we're just going to do a body. So a little, cut a little bit of your uh, flat braid. Catch this in behind the eyes like we just did with the, uh, the body. Catch that in behind the eyes. And again, just roughly tie that down. And then to make it, make sure it's going to stay nice and neat. If you have, if you're using just one, you can flatten the braid. So flatten the braid. You can flatten your thread if you spin it the right way. And then just neatly go over everything to hold it down. So you've got a nice, neat body. So bring your thread in front, front of the eyes. And then you're just going to wrap this body material, the flat braid, in touching turns all the way up. And then when we get to the eyes, we are going to go over in a figure of eight. Bring that round, parallel with your hook and in line with your eye. One wrap over. Wrap down to the eye of the hook. Flip that back. and then catch that in. And then we are going to just cut that off and just tidy up the ends. Okay. Right, so going back to the tail, we need to cut this roughly the length of the shank between the, the bend and the back of the eyes, roughly there. Then using a bodkin, and they're just going to tease out those fibres to make your tail flush. And they'll come apart pretty easily. There we are. Pick those up a bit, lovely. Okay, so that's the main part of your fly done. We're just going to tie, uh, turn your fly over. And now we're going to do the... Uh, do the wing. Now um, if you want to put some flash in, now's the time to do it. In fact I might just put a, a little bit, I mean there is quite a lot already in the uh, the body and the tail so I'm just going to put one piece in. I'm just going to bring that around and then holding between my fingers I'm just going to put that into place and just make sure that that has a strand either side of the hook. Cut that in line with the tail. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to, uh, as I said, I'm going to use a bit of uh, rabbit's on Um It can be a bit fiddly to work with, but so, you know, use some calf tail, some 
synthetics. It's really flyable. Flyable? Is that a word? Fly away. That's it. Let's cut that off the uh, skin. You might just want to pick out the uh, fluffy bits on the end and then hold it up to the hook so you know how long you want it. Now we want it roughly to reach the, the tail so we want it about there. So hold it in with your vice hand and you can see where you need to trim it. So I like to trim and finish um, cutting off the ends and everything before I actually tie them down. I think it makes the fly neater. But it can be more tricky to tie them down because obviously the ends are shorter. So the trick here is to make sure they're nice and flat to the eye, uh, flat to the hook. Nip the thread between your thumb and your finger and then when you're coming down on the other side just slowly 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 let go with your thumb and forefinger and there we are it hooks in so then you can just straighten up a little bit and then tie it all down from this point you just neaten everything up making sure everything is nice and tidy oh thread slid there but that's not the end of the world so we're gonna uh, Put some varnish on so that's all nice and neat. And then we'll finish at the end here. So one. And then just finish with a little bit of varnish. And when the varnish is dry, if you can, I put some UV on just to um give it that little bit of protection but if not I would go for a couple more varnishings before you put it away in your box. There we go. That's it, that's the uh, basic gotcha. There are different variants of this um, but this is the basic, si the basic style. Um, really nice fly to use. Have fun tying it.